There is no country in the world completely free from corruption. Corruption influences all whose lives depend on and include the integrity of public authorities and officials. It undermines trust in government institutions and threatens the stability, safety and economy of a country. Capitalism is an economic and political system in which a country's trade and industry are controlled by private owners for profit rather than by the state. Capitalism has a high association with corruption, as capitalism advocates industrial privatization, which means all properties and businesses are owned by private entities, not the government or the country. Hence, there is corruption. For example, officials are corrupt because they are being bribed by individual capitalists to serve the enterprise's needs. The definition of corruption in political science is the illegal abuse of political power for private gain by people in the highest levels of the political system. This is normally done to maintain power, to repress political opponents, and to increase personal wealth or status via embezzlement or bribery. In this video, we will look at why the amount of corruption in China and Denmark differ greatly. China is ranked 83 in the Corruption Perceptions Index 2015 by Transparency International, an international non-government organization, while Denmark is ranked first. The index is based on expert opinions of public sector corruption. It looks at the punishment government officials face for corruption, the perceived extent of bribery, and the response of public institutions to citizens' needs. According to the article, China income inequality amongst world's worst, 1% of China's population controls one-third of the country's wealth, and the lowest 25% own just 1% of the country's total wealth. This shows the huge income gap between the rich and the poor. Corruption is a huge factor that causes inequality. In China, Guanxi means building connections and relationships based on gifts, banqueting or small favours. As big companies have strong guanxi with each other and some officials in relative aspect, they will get a better offer and a higher profit. Some strong companies also suppress new competitive companies together. As the riches push around the smaller companies, the rich corporations become stronger and the newborn companies cannot survive and this causes inequality as they do not have the same chance. Denmark has fair working conditions, social security, health arrangements, decent salaries, pension schemes and a high tax burden, according to Tom Noring, the Danish ambassador to Hungary in 2013. Hence, its people live in good conditions and are supported by insurance and public funds if they become unemployed. In Denmark, education and medical services are paid for by the state. Hence, citizens feel less of a need to bribe officials in order to gain more benefits as they already have plenty. The high taxation in Denmark makes people reluctant to pay more as well. In some places in China, local courts and judges are paid bribes and are therefore biased, leading to poorly enforced decisions. For example, if a big wig knocked down a poor person while he was driving, he might pay the judge and therefore the judge would likely sentence the rich. As the higher class are more leniently judged, it is unfair to the victims. Denmark's judicial system is not unlike any other countries. The main reason for Denmark's low corruption ranking is the freedom of its press. Danish media is critical of the government, reports about scandals of political abuse and corruption, and showcases a range of political opinions. According to the Denmark Corruption Report, it is among the freest in the world, as Denmark's constitution guarantees freedom of expression. Freedom of the press is often positively correlated to low corruption levels. The freedom of the press increases chances of punishment for corruption. The Danish Criminal Code forbids active and passive bribery, and the Danish government enforces anti-corruption laws effectively. Penalties for bribery under the Criminal Code include fines and imprisonment for up to six years. So what makes the difference between Denmark and China's corruption levels? One. 
Denmark has a more transparent police, economic and political system and allows its press great freedom. 2. There are anti-corruption organizations in Denmark but not in China. 3. There is more social security in Denmark, hence individuals and companies do not feel the need to use corrupt means in order to gain a living or boost their income. Corruption is a complex problem that causes global inequality. There is no one-size-fits-all solution. However, if everyone around the world makes a stand against it and continues to raise awareness about this problem, the atrocity of the problem will be decreased and the world will be a more equal place.